Hey guys, Matt from Total MTG here, and welcome to Friday Night Magic. So this week we are putting the Rotation Proof Mono Black Control deck into a match, and in this match I'm playing against Red White Humans. So without further ado, let's take a look at the match. Hey guys, so we are playing with our Mono Black Rotation Proof Control deck. It is not looking particularly good in our opening hand, though we do have a Doomful, lots of lands... Um, let's make that a little bit bigger. Uh, we do have cycle lands. I'm going to give it a go. It might be a very strange keep. But you're hoping with that amount of land that we can draw into something good. Hopefully. So we will play our swamp and pass the turn. See what our opponent plays. They play a planes. Okay. Terminal Authority of the Councils. Ooh, dodgy, dodgy. Right, we draw yet another land, but we can cycle away the Desert to Glorify. This is what this is there for, is to do cycling, do a bit of card draw. Turn three, we can play Doomfall. So, there is a Mimic. Mimic is pretty, pretty good. So, we may use Doomfall to actually exile the creature, because everything's going to come in a lot bigger. We'll see what we draw off the desert first. We get a gifted Aetherborn. Okay, nice creature. Death Touch, Lifelink, Double Black. Doesn't do anything to it. Oh, another land. Um, so I think we'll make them exile the Mimic there. Just so nothing comes in with counters. Okay. Authority will come intact, unfortunately. There's a Carry Zev. Doesn't have haste though, does it? No, it doesn't have Kev and a Thraben. Okay. Carry Zev can definitely get out of hand if you let it. Um, so we would like to draw a little little kill spell here. Oh, we do. Um, I actually want to kill that because that can get out of hand, Carry Zev. So let's destroy that. Opponent is down to three cards in hand. We take away one of them. Okay. And yield. I, I feel a lot happier just facing down a Thraven rather than this. Where this creates a 2-1 legendary token a turn and just attacks you straight away. So I think we'd be better off just killing that. Destructing the board. There is an always watching. Okay, 2-3. That's nice. They're going to be a little bit bigger thanks to the Anthem. Pumping things up. So we can play a Gifted Aetherborn here. We draw another Swamp. Wow. Um, we've got a Desert there, which we will definitely be cycling away. Three lands up. Death Touch Lifelink there. Nice, nice creature. Gifted Aetherborn. One of our favourite creatures. And it's in this, you know, you call it a Control Deck with the Gifted Aetherborn there. But it is literally there because... There's a lot of aggro around. Cast out is definitely a way to deal with it. Okay. Let's cycle the desert. And what do we draw? Oh, we draw a live fast. Well, card draw is definitely what we want at the moment because we're just drawing lands. Um, we went down, we're down to 23 lands in this deck now, which I think is okay. Possibly we might be able to get 22. Just more and more play. You'll be able to see... See if you can. What do we draw? Oh, Demon of Dark Schemes. It seems nice. Let's play the Demon. Doesn't kill that, unfortunately. But we don't want to get it in now because it comes in tapped. Um, we can get energy next turn with Live Fast. We also can exile a card and bring back the return. Um, but because this comes in tapped, we really want to get it into play now. They could have another cast out, but there's nothing we can do about that. Depends how they've drawn our opponent. Depends how they've drawn with their red-white human deck. Farley's Lieutenant. Okay, that would have been nice to do now, unfortunately. But we had to get the demon in. Oh, I would do it there. It's bigger. I was like, oh, right. Okay. Can't block. Fair enough. Will be able to block next turn. Opponent down to one card in hand. Does attack for six, though. Gets us to ten. 
Live fast is going to take two life. What do we do? Oh, we draw another demon. That is legends. Oh, lovely. Um, so we could play that. Gives them all minus two, two, though. What are we better off doing? What are we better doing? We do need the energy. Um, we're not going to kill anything with this. But maybe we do want to get the second creatures down. I think it's probably the best move getting another creature down. Because it does come in tap, so we're going to need it next turn. Opponent gains life, and we'll stay back with a blocker. And then we can live fast next turn. Get some energy for the deck. So, we've got a blocker. We want to hopefully just keep these two. They, we really don't want to see a um, cast out. The cast out will be really bad for us. Or a declaration in stone would be like oh, epically bad. Scrapper. Okay. Has double strike. Ooh, and then you get two energy when it attacks. You make two energy put a 1 1 counter on it. Oh, that is dangerous. So we're actually going to have to block that. Oh, we're dead. Because um, that's got double strike, can hit us for six, seven, eight, nine. That's a little bit dodgy. No, oh, that was a brilliant draw from our opponent. Doesn't attack. Interesting. Okay, what do we draw? We want removal. We've got Doomfall. So they can exile one of their creatures, which is obviously what we're going to use it for. Um, I think we play Live Fast first. Draw two cards, lose two life, so we get to play a land. Um, target opponent exiles one of their creatures. One, two, three. We've got Noxious Gearhold next turn as well. We need four energy and three land to do that, so that gets rid of one creature. So we've got two blockers left. Noxious Gearhold to come down next turn if we survive. Let's hope we do. Against this red white humans. Authority. Okay, not too well, it's, it's a bit annoying because it comes in tapped. But we do have Noxious Gear Hulk and we will be able to gain four life. Or do we get rid of the double scrapper for actually? Um oh, another demon, jeez. Another demon. When are we here to that? What does that do when it goes off? Um, okay. Probably better off getting rid of that. Let's play Noxious Gear Hulk. We get to destroy. They sack and draw a clue. Okay. They gain two life. Comes in. Kill that. Because it's got double strike. Yeah, the other one's bigger. Yes, we go back to 11. We get some more energy. Yay. We get some energy. So we'll be able to start taking some of that back. Um, we're not going to attack just yet. Because they could play something pasty. Hold back. We've got a lot of power on board. We can play another Demon of Dark Schemes. Um, we can take a Carry Zev. We can take a Scrapper Champion. That gives us energy when it comes in. So that seems pretty decent. Opponent plays land, two cards in hand. Right. No attacks, of course. What do we draw? We draw a swamp. Okay. So. I think. Carries a first strike, menace. I think we take that. Because that gives us more energy. So, we take the Scrapper. Opponent gains some more life. We get some more energy. Okay. 
And we shall... Should we just attack? Yeah, just attack for five. Gosh, should we... Do we want to start putting the pressure on? I think we still need to hold back with one. We're attack for five. We'll do more attacks next time. We're going to play... De I was saying, if we play Demon, though, that does just die. Magma Spray. Yep, we're fine with that. Fine with that. We're going to play another Demon now. That makes it easier. Okay. Or do we hold back the Demon? No, we're playing Demon. Come on, let's play another Demon. They can gain some more life. We've got 15 flying in the air then. It's a very, very, very quick clock then. Very quick clock. Just being a bit cautious because obviously they can explode the deck a little bit. They've got a lot of, you know, they've got cast outs they can cast. There's another land. One land in hand. We can attack for 20 and that would be pretty, pretty good next turn. Definitely none too shabby and the deck is working well. A braid. Oh, I get to a braid here. Well, that doesn't matter to us because we can just bring it straight back and kill the creature. That was an absolutely terrible move by our opponent there. Terrible move by our opponent. We get back the Noxious. We take away Thalia's. That was a severe punt in my book. Should have killed a demon. Maybe they noticed their mistake. Because we can just get it back. And kill the Thalia. Gain four life. Attack. Boom. Right. Here we go. What do we draw? We draw a land. We get back Noxious. Noxious comes back. Destroy their creature. They gain some more life. We gain four. We're attacking for a lot. Uh, yes. <laughs> Get some three more energy so we can be able to do it again. We can actually nick their Thalia. Seems decent. Here we go. And attack for 15. We're not going to do it yet because they will gain more back. Opponent goes to 11. We're on 15. They're top drawing. We're top drawing. But we've got one hell of a board. If they draw a Fumigate, they draw a Fumigate. Um, don't know if they run Fumigate. And that was enough for the win. So let's go to the sideboard. They have enchantments. Exile target creature. That could be pretty sweet. Maybe one another to destroy. These are very good against the smaller creatures walking ballistas. So we'll bring that in. Um, we could lost legacy for the cast out. Cast out is very annoying. We don't really have a way to do it. We got doom fills though. Maybe bring in Lay the Bear Hearts as well. Um, Torment of Hailfire can go. Yohinis can stay. We'll drop one Liz Live, live Fast. Uh, we'll drop one Gifted Aetherborn. We need to drop three more. So it's, it's pretty hard to see what we can drop here. Oh, Cruelty Reality can go. Maybe we'll go to three Ballistas just so it gives us another creature. And one more card. One more card. What do we want to get rid of? Don't want to get rid of Fatal Push. Don't really want to get rid of them. Maybe we drop one Bontus. They can flood the board though. They can flood the board. Bring that back in. Drop one of the spot removals. And off we go for game two. So this is our opening hand. We have to mulligan without a doubt. Not terrible, a bit slow, but we keep it. Land on top, we put that to the bottom. We've got four land. So, there is a Plains. There's the Turn 1 Authority. We draw a bit of Destruction. Lovely. We shall yield to end of turn. We've got nothing until turn 3 at the moment. Ooh, one land hand. Now that is a very strange keep from our opponent. Very strange keep. We're not going to complain, though. We're definitely not going to complain. Because it gives us time to build up. We can Doomful. We've got Essence Extraction to kill a creature. 
We oh we can well, we're going to take a look at our hand. There's a gifted Etherborn. That's nice. Um, let's reveal their hand. See what they have with the Doomfall. See what we shall take. Exile non-land card from it. So they've got a lot there. Declaration in Stone. Seems like the one we'll be taking. Get rid of deck. Lovely. And pass the turn. We've got lots of destruction. We can kill their creatures. We're not worried about that at all. Essence extraction. We've got three, you know, two of them. Hamweir will definitely go. Oh, do we take an attack? They could just drop a can. We could do a Yahini's expertise. Yeah, let's 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 take a bit of damage. Let's take a little bit of damage. We're going to be hit for four here. Um, they won't be able to get the Thalias down. They could do this. Yeah, get that down. Pumps that up. Now it's slightly out of range, though. Maybe that was a bit of a punt. It does seem like it maybe was a bit of a punt. Bit of a punt. Bit of a punt. I'm going to get value, though. I'm going to get value. Yeah, a little bit of value. Slight punt is... Slight punt there, but we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Okay. We're going to be all right. Fatal push. Lovely. Right. Um, so, we will Yahinis. Yahinis expertise. Um, what should we cast? Um... Essence Extraction, I suppose. On there. Gain three life. Bit backhanded the way I did that, but I wanted to get a bit of it. I forgot that it obviously I put a counter on, but it's worked out, right? First, we got rid of four creatures. We gained three life. It's not the worst mistake in the world. We've still got a Fatal Push. Removal there. Gifted Etherborn, Death Touch. Very nice. We're still doing okay. Glory Bound Initiate. Lovely. We can Fatal Push that. There's a Gonti. A lovely Gonti. Right. Let's play Gifted Etherborn. Uh, let's share Tell us when you do get plus one again. Lifelink. Okay. Let's wait to see if they do anything with this first. They may exert. Makes no difference to us whatsoever, though. Oh, Hamwear Batman's glad I got rid of the garrison. Glad I got rid of the garrison. Okay. In they come. Probably will. Yep, do that. Okay. We shall fatal push it away. Goodbye. And what do they play? Could have Gideon's in deck. Can't cast it at the moment. There's a scrap heap. Okay. Well, that is something that we will just kill straight off. It's double strike. They might they've got an anthem in hand, I'm pretty sure. There's another gifted Etherborn, so we just kill that. We're just keeping them off everything there. We can attack, gain two life back. Attack. They go to 19. We go back up to 20. And pass the turn. Pass the turn. So far, we're dealing with the black, uh, red, white humans. We're dealing with it okay. Always watching. Okay. Not too bothered by that. Uh, see what we draw here. We'll probably play Gonti. Do we draw? Walking Ballista's okay. Um, let's attack first. While our opponent is one card in hand, we might as well try and get creatures down. Um, okay, down to 17. We'll play a Gonti. And what do we get from their deck? Let's have a look what we get. Du -du -du. What is it? Oh, so we can play Trial of Zeal. And if I have a three damage target creature or player. We can get a Carry Zev. Uh, Metallic Mimic. I think we take 
the Chopper's winning attacks right anyway. That's tapped and attacking. Okay, yeah, we're we're take carry Zev. Pass turn. Past her. Let's take their own carry. Land. That's good. One card in hand. It is a Threeban. Okay, the Threeban. We've got two lots there with Death Touch. So we will be attacking in. Sacrifice their clue, I'm guessing. Nope. Okay. Yep. Okay. Gives it haste. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sack the clue. Oh, they draw something off the top. They draw something off the top. Right. First of all, let's just tack in for both, shall we? Let's attack in. Tack in for four. Both with Death Touch, one with Lifelink. Are they going to race us? Let's have a look. Sweet. So we get them down to a 14. Okay. Uh, target creature gains haste to enter. So we could play Carry Zev now. And an Aetherborn. Seems decent. Um, let's cast Carry Zev. They're going to get some life back. But we're going to get Carry Zev. And we shall play another gifted Aetherborn. Four creatures on board. Maybe overextend a little bit if they. I can't imagine that they're going to play Fumigate. I really just can't imagine they're playing Fumigate. Because their deck's all about creatures. I just can't. I just can't see it. But maybe I'm wrong. They'd have to top draw as well. Okay. All right. Not doing too bad off four land here, to be honest. That gains haste. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on twenty-two life. We're not worried. We're going to gain four life back anyway. So, yep. Okay, four, seven. Get to ten, down to twelve. We can Doomfall. Doomfall, make him sack a creature. Here we go. Land at last. Right. Um, exile's a creature. One, two, three. They have to exile one of their blockers. Probably take away the Thraven. Reben. Um, so we're going to go back up to 16 here. I think I think we just attack all in. We got we got to keep the pressure on. They gain a life, but we get another two one attacking. So we're attacking for two, four, six, eight. We're attacking for nine here. Plus we're going to gain four life back. That's got Menace, so it has to be double blocked. So they're going to double block there. Yep, yeah, fair enough. We get through with eight. Game four, life back. Opponent's down to nine. We are down to, well, we're up to 16. Two cards in hand. Opponent top drawing. Walking Ballista that we can potentially play for damage as well. What do they play? Whatever they play, they're going to be able to play with haste. So hopefully nothing like a glory bringer. There's a metallic mimic. Okay, comes in. It's a 3-2. Can attack with it. It's got vigilance. So they can attack for 9. Give it haste. Okay. But we will attack straight back in. They're going to put us to 7. Four. Right, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go down to five. Okay. Here we go. Right. There is an all important. So if we can get through here, I don't think we will. If we attack all in. They block one, take four, go to five, go back up to six. Mm. I think we leave a block about. We attack for four. Okay, 
Okay. So we're going to gain four life. Opponent goes to five. We could live fast. But I think... We shall play the Walking Ballista. They gain a life. They're up to six. So, what we can do... We can kill this. If we so desire. Um, attacks are... Other attacking gear, right. So we can kill that. They put us to five. Probably best... I don't know. We'll wait to see what they're going to play first. Declaration in stone. Okay. Um, so we will kill this. I'm killing this creature. We'll kill this creature. Before it attacks, that dies. They can deck and scone the Gonti. We've got a clue. We've got to live fast. We've got two death touch with lifelink that take out both of those creatures. They attack. They put us to four. Now we're in the land of the gods. Here we go. What do we draw? Walking Ballista. Lovely. Okay. We're attack all in. We're attack all in. And that is the game. Opponent didn't block. Walking Ballista. For the game. They gain a life. We remove. And for the final turn. For the win. The Mono Black Control takes down Red White Humans. What a match, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this, Mac. If you want to see more of it, give it lots of thumbs up. Let me know in there. We have taken down the Red White Humans. Really exciting match. We got there in the end. Bit of a misplay by our opponent. They should have blocked. We don't care. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this Friday Night Magic's video. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.